That is awesome. So that is a Surface Pro 6 built with nothing but a USB stick running WinPE. Everything came down over the internet. Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at OSD Cloud by David Segura. OSD Cloud is a method of deploying Windows 10 to bare metal devices with just WinPE. Alright, well let's just jump straight in. So as you can see, I'm on osdcloud.osdeploy.com. I should say, this is a really well written article, so it explains everything right from the start. How to do it, how to get sort of what the prerequisites are, what you need to do to, you know, build your ISO, install all the stuff. So it, it, is, it is all there. What I want to do is just go through that step by step in a video to show that it works. As you can see, we need admin rights on the terminal that you're using to build this solution. So that's fine. I've got admin. Open internet. Yeah, I'm, I'm at home, so there's no proxy. Uh, we need to install the PowerShell module. Okay. So admin terminal running Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and install that. See what we're doing next. Install the ADK and run the WinPE add-on. Okay. Right, so we've got their module. That's good. Uh, WinPE, I already have that on my machine. So I've got ADK for Windows 10 uh, and the WinPE add-on just there. So that's good. And yeah, fine. I can learn PowerShell. I can try. Okay, so next we need to create a template. Fine. So a little bit at the top here about why and how that works and, and what we can do. But the way we do it essentially is just to run a new OSD template dash verbose. So let's try that. All right, so we're done. Three minutes, 55 seconds. So, uh, yeah, it's now in C Program Data OSD Cloud. Let's grab that from there. So we have an autopilot folder, a driver packs folder, and a media folder. So this is really what we've just created. It's, it's a, a place where we store the stuff that we're gonna use in our workspace. So we have uh, the media, which is all the stuff that has just been copied from the ADK and over in autopilot profile is currently blank let's take a look at the next section then which is autopilot profiles so ideally we want to use autopilot because it's pretty good so let's stick in some autopilot profiles um i do have a, a profile i want to use so i'll go ahead and grab that now uh let's take a look so Grab um, might need to just install NuGet uh, deliberately doing this on a blank um, terminal so you can see all of the prereqs for doing this. Essentially you might already have the JSON file that from your autopilot profile but I didn't so I'll go ahead and get that. So it's going to install the Azure AD PowerShell module and the Windows Autopilot Intune module. And then after that, we're going to do the graph. Uh, it's already done. That's good. Looks like it's just done that module for me. But let's take a look anyway. Cool. Okay. So I think it installed graph for me. So I'm going to just connect graph and log into my tenant. Obviously got MFA set up because I'm a good person. And lots of stuff. Do we want Intune to be able to do all of this? Yes. 
I do. All right, so we've got our tenant. Let's grab the autopilot profile just to check. That's the one. And we'll just convert that to JSON like this. And then I'll just grab that nice and simple into a notepad file. There we go. Okay, so we've got our autopilot file there. All good. What's next? So that means that's that's it for the importing the profile bit. Next is our OSD Cloud workspace. So let's take a look at what my other drive is called. Let's go with D. Yeah, let's go with D. Okay, so grab that and go ahead and do that. Cool, that was quick. Uh, oh look, it really takes no time at all. There you go, zero seconds, fine. All right, next, important step, don't miss this. Even if you're not planning to add drivers or add cloud drivers or add anything else, go ahead and do this anyway. It, it's the bit that does the actual work and um, import all this stuff into your um, into your uh, workspace. Okay, so 48, 45 seconds, all good, all right. So, there we go, right, so 45 seconds, all done, new cloud ISO, so I'm going to create the ISO anyway because I like ISOs, um, uh, which is just this, uh, and I need to, I'm going to do a Surface Pro, so I'm going to do a, a USB at the end anyway as well. So we'll do the ISO first. I'll speed this up while it... I don't need to speed it up. Okay, what happened there? Uh, four seconds, okay. Fine, so it's done. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, I mean it's wimpy, so it's not that big. Fine. Okay, I got my ISO. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, USB then. So I'm running a later version of that, so that's good. To client, that's good. Uh, essentially, we run this. I mean, this is <laughs> ridiculously simple to, to work through. I'm almost embarrassed that I'm doing it, but there we go. Uh, Let's take a look. I've run that. I've got a um, SD card in for my camera, but I also have a sand disk. I'm going to go with disk number three and hope it doesn't blat my camera. Uh, yes. Hmm, something went wrong. I'm going to go back and take a look. Alright, at this point I'm going to assume it's my USB. So let's go with disk part. Um, do it again. Yeah, okay, so it's disk 3. Uh, 
Let's try that. So I'm going to run um, new OSD Cloud USB. I'm selecting my only disk now. Let's see how this goes. Cool, looks better. All right, I'll speed this up while it goes. That was nice and quick. Okay, good. What did I miss? Uh, well, one minute it took for David, so 41 seconds, all good. I haven't actually added any drivers or anything into it, so let's see how this goes. Right, next up is to take it over to the Surface device that you can see just underneath my face there. Um, and boot from USB. So I'll give that a go. Okay, well, now I've got my uh, machine ready to boot. Well, it's, it's booted, it's, it's in WinPE, uh, as you can see on the bottom right there. Let's take a look through the walkthrough. This is the actual tool, right? So we have um, a very simple set of steps. So a bit of a typo there, it looks like, but essentially this is install dash module OSD dash force. So, switch over. Okay, done. I'm going to skip the display resolution change because I'm not in a VM. Uh, I think I'll be alright. And then it's simply start OSD cloud dash screenshot. Uh, let's see what that does. And I also preloaded Enterprise and British. So it's already downloaded the driver, the the feature update, which is the bit at the bottom there. It's now searching for driver packs by the looks of it. It's doing a load of web responses at the top there. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's finished doing um, the stuff it needed to do. Uh, I can't quite read all of that from here, but uh, it's now asking for the autopilot profile. I'm going to go ahead and choose. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll choose one. See what happens. And I need to remove the USB stick. So that's done. And enter to continue. Are you sure you want to run clear disk on the Samsung SSD inside this machine? So, yep. And now it's doing some stuff. It's now asking me to reattach all necessary USB drives. I assume the one I've got, which contains all the stuff, is necessary. So let's go ahead and press um, enter now that's in. Okay. I think I guess right. So it's now doing uh, expand Windows image. 
Okay, boot file successfully created. Looking good. And now it appears to be downloading some drivers. All right, that says it's done. I'm going to go ahead and give the reboot. Okay, it seems to be installing some driver packs right now. And there we have it. That is welcome to get modern at the top. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, I'm going to log in. I'm going to get autopilot up and running um, and check out the drivers. All right, here we go. So shared the screen on this computer. So now I'm just going to go ahead and log in. See if this works. I've got MFA set up because I'm a good person. All right, let's take a look at drivers. Looking, well, not red, which is a good thing. I think, think that works lovely.